have a feeling that once I fight the boss that's on the other side of this, we're going to go into like 30 minutes of dialogue. Thankfully, I don't have to end at 12 for Taco Tuesday, but... But I'd prefer to get my tacos right away, because, you know, then I gotta cut this all up and all that other junk. Uh, stay away from me. Somebody help. Adios, please save me. Ah, Ryu. Oh, well, that's his attention. Uh, Ellie tried to draw their attention. Understood. Uh, everyone else who was streaming didn't take the time to get good audio settings, besides a top guy or who's doing a day zero speed run. Ah. Well, to be fair, Mr. JRPG helped me out a little bit, so you know, I, I had a little bit of uh, assistance there. Plan seems to have worked for now. All right, let's take them out. All right, this is gonna be a little tough because physical attacks aren't great. Like triple burst. Oh, oh, sparkle. Can I firebolt you? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to him in time. This is why we save, ladies and gentlemen. How many Trails games do I have under my belt? Uh, I have all the Sky games, and I have all the Cold Steel games under my belt. have a crit. Oh, okay. Alright, well. We'll retry. We'll do this a little bit different. have a sense of deja vu. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I could have planned that out better. I, I definitely goofed. Can you play this game? Uh, for the first time, you sit at three hours in your new game Nightmare Run because the boy kept dying over and over. It it will never be fun to do these types of missions. Did he just? That's probably not how. It Definitely did not steal my my watch my Ooh, what is that?
Sure, let's do that. And now we get, get no, uh, no voices. Alright, I still don't know what that is, though. Guess I'm not gonna find out. I'm guessing it's, I guess it's double attack? You get to attack twice? Yes, okay. Interesting. Really? Oh, never mind. Actually, yeah, really? Fire, wind, basically anything but water. Game is not made for New Game Nightmare. Possible, but not fun. He has stolen your treasure? See, that's what I thought he did. But I didn't want to... Didn't want to assume. But I, I... I don't think that's a thing in the previous Tales games, where you have to go collect the treasure. But it has been a hot minute. Could be mis misremembering. Okay, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Not a thing here either, but this boy, you do not trust him. Trust nobody. I mean, I feel the same way. I don't know when these sucker fools are just gonna do things that you don't want them to do. Next thing you know, you know, he's gonna be like, ah, I'm the mastermind behind uh, all the bad things that are gonna be happening in this game. Thank you for saving me from those monsters. You raised me to be one. Uh, we did it, somehow. Man, those are some tough customers, huh? I am tired. Whoa, that was a close one. For you, I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, of course, I'm fine. I'm just glad to see you're okay. I mean, you're so clumsy all the time. I was worried you'd be monster child without me there to save you. You're one to talk. You were this close to getting gobbled up just a second ago. It was all your fault, anyway. You were the one who, uh, who said we should come down or come in here. What? Nuh-uh. You were the one who was all like, ooh, the geofront's so cool. But I never actually wanted to go inside. All right, that's enough, you two. No more fighting. Sorry. I haven't seen you guys around town before. You must be new. Uh, you seem pretty strong for a bunch of rookies, though. Huh? And you seem a bit too big for your britches, kid. How about a little gratitude, huh? We did just save your hide. Fine, thanks for the save. I got a little iffy there for a sec, but I managed to get out with only a couple of scratches. I guess you guys pass, just barely. Well, it's true that we still have room to improve. Now, we're glad you're okay now, though. And now that you're both safe, we should get out of here. Agreed. I believe this is as far as we can go in this sector anyway. Meaning we've completed Chief Sergei's mission too. True. Well, no way in heck was I expecting something like this to go down. After we get these rascals home, we should report back to HQ, yeah? Is something wrong? Well, I was just thinking. You guys are rookies, right? Yeah, we are. Uh, but how did you know? We don't have uniforms like the rest of the department does. Uniforms? Could it be? Are you guys not from the guild? What? 
By guild, you mean the Bracer Guild, right? Well, I'm sure not talking about the Fisherman's Guild. Are you kidding me? You really aren't Bracers? Well, no. Uh, we're all new recruits at the Crossbell Police Department. Huh? You're the freaking police? No way, since when do police officers go stomping around in the geo front? Well, we weren't stomping around, we came here for a mission. And just so happened to find you two while we were at it. But is it really that strange? Of course it is. Everyone knows the police are just a bunch of cowards. Oof. Starting to spit some stuff now. What? Dad's always saying that even though they act all high and mighty, they never actually help anyone. He told me the bracers are ten times better when you need help. Of course. Ryu, don't be rude. Doesn't matter if they're police officers or not. They're the ones who saved us, after all. I know that. I was just disappointed they weren't from the guild is all. Sounds like we ain't got the best reputation, huh? Hold up. We got company. Huh? Above us? Oh, okay. Oh no. The, what the heck? Crap. Uh, this the head honcho. It's enormous. This is bad. The door behind us is locked. We have been cornered. Darn, at this rate. Hey, what are you gonna do? Even if we go all out, we don't stand a chance with our current gear. I know that. Listen, I'll draw its attention. You guys take the kids and find a way out. What are you talking about? Are you insane? It's our only option. Randy, Ellie, take the kids and run. Now. Where are they going to run? This is really the only way. Boot. Aye. Good grief. Self-sacrifice is admirable, but don't be too eager to meet your grave. This is probably the bracer guy. They were just talking about bracers, so now they introduce a bracer. This is how this works. I think I know who this is, but I'll let this character introduce themselves. Maybe I'll be wrong. Holy unbelievable. My eyes could not keep up. So cool. That was freaking sweet. You're the best, Arios. I, Arios was not the name that came to mind, but if Arios has a title, then this is the character that I have. Ah, uh, man, that was the most awesome thing ever. I can't believe I got to see it in person. Thank you for saving us, Arios. But why are you here? Well, I read a report that mentioned two kids were seen entering Central Square's manhole, so I decided to look into it. You two really shouldn't have come down here. Uh, what would you have done if no one showed up to rescue you? I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Well, you're both unharmed, so we'll leave it at that. It's getting late. Let's get you home. Sounds good to me. Yes, sir. What's the matter? You aren't intending to stay down here, are you? Huh? Oh, uh, no, we aren't. We'll, we'll head back uh, with you, if you don't mind. In that case, quit dawdling. Or you could very well be ambushed a second time. Don't let your guard down until we're out. Needs to keep their guard up when we have you running around one-shotting super giga monsters. Uh, who does that smug old jerk think he is? In any event, he had a real intense look in his eyes. His physical abilities were anything but ordinary as well. Just who is he? So well, that's Arios. <clears throat> oh, does our own little mad uh? And in moi? I was gonna go with Mademoiselle, but that. And in moi? Uh, Ellie, know that guy. Only by name. Also, why are you calling me that? It's not my name. Uh, just kind of felt like it. Fancy name for a fancy lady. So, are you gonna spill the beans or what? Who was that guy? If I'm not mistaken, that was. Arios McLean. Seen his name show up in the Crossbell Times before. He's an A-rank bracer who operates out of the Bracer Guild's Crossbell branch. 
He completes every request to perfection and has earned the citizens' utmost trust. They call him the Guardian of Crossbell. Ah, the Divine Blade of Wind. That's... that's the title I was thinking of, so I was right. Ariel's McLean. What's going on? Well, 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 look at you, Arios, accomplishing yet another astounding feat. Saving these young boys from the jaws of mortal danger, no thanks to our city's sloppy management system. Brilliant. It's the perfect scoop for our next issue. Wow, cool. Does this mean we're going to be in the magazine? Is that a good thing, though? I feel like uh, we'll just get in more trouble. Please don't make a scene, Grace. While I can't deny the city's shoddy facility management, these two children were in the wrong as well. And I don't appreciate biased news stories. Oh, don't be like that, Arios. All I'm doing is attentively responding to the needs of my readers. And what's this? Looks like we have some interesting new guests this time around. The first expedition of the team that carries the CPD's future on its back, the Special Support Section. Alas, these fledglings were unable to complete uh, their mission and had to rely, as per usual, on the power of the Heroic Bracer Guild. Will this budding team, now aware of their utter lack of experience, be able to overcome the trials in store for them? What are you talking about? Is this chick okay? All I hear is gibberish. She appears to be part of the media. I think she's a crazy... Uh, crazy. Uh, I think she's a Crossbow Times journalist, actually. I don't approve of you jumping to conclusions about them either, Grace. After all, they were the ones who initially saved the children, not me. Although it's true that they failed to see things through to the end. <clears throat> my oh my, then it's just like I thought, isn't it? Got plenty of juicy morsels for my article now. If you happen to read it, don't let it get you down, okay? Just think of it as my own special way of encouraging you. Well then, Arios. Have you given any more thought to the one-on-one -on -one interview? I've already told you I'm not interested. What just happened? You know, making us out to be fools really pisses me off. Real shame. I'd say she's my type, but she seems a little cuckoo. Now, that's not really the issue here. So, Lloyd, what do we do next? Well, uh, we uh, we at least finished Chief Sergei's mission, but let's head back to headquarters for now. I'll have to file a report about the kids while we're at it. That's our battle ordnance. Do they have built-in comms? What's that way? Press the red button to switch to communication mode. That will accept the incoming call, too. This one right here. This is Lloyd Bannings. Chief Sergey, is that you? Ah, Lloyd. It's me, Fran, the receptionist from the police department. All right, from this morning. Something to matter. Well, the thing is, could you please return to HQ as soon as possible? The vice commissioner wants to have a word with you. Vice commissioner? Uh, what was going through those thick skulls of yours? deviated from your mission and got involved in something completely unrelated. And because of your incompetence, all the credit ended up going to Ariel's McLean again. And the worst part about this situation, this little mishap of yours was exposed by the Crossbell Times. But sir, keep each and every one of your mouths shut. I don't want to hear your excuses. This is exactly why I was against the formation of this pointless new division of yours. Only that darn Sergei had him tacked on so many conditions, this would have never happened likewise. Could you elaborate, sir? Silence, this doesn't concern you in any form. Wait a minute, this just, or this might just work out. That utter nuisance loses even one of his subordinates, I can put a stop to his antics. Now listen, this is for your own good. Decline your assignment to the special support section within the next couple of days. <clears throat> what? Why? Just a sec, pal. What exactly are you insinuating? 
do not understand. What's there to understand? Just do as I tell you. The SSS is sure to fail within half a year. I doubt it'll advance your careers at all. In fact, it may result in quite the opposite. Keep running into screw-ups like this, and no one will even glance at your resume. And wouldn't that just be an utter waste? Aren't you aiming to become a detective, Lloyd? I'll personally see to it that you are placed within one of our investigative divisions. And for you three, I'll make sure you're assigned new roles that are more in line with your skill sets. Quite, an, quite a generous offer, no? I promise you won't regret it. Sleep on it and let me know your answers tomorrow. You are dismissed. I'd like to say... Eesh. Oh, here we go. Uh, things just got real complicated out of nowhere. A guy wants us to refuse our assignment to the SSS. Suppose the CPD has its share of internal conflict as well. I'd only heard rumors, but this confirms it. Yes, this is very different from what I was originally promised. Oh, what do you mean by that? Nothing you need to worry about. More importantly, where could Chief Sergei be? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. What's the deal? He sends us off on a mission out of the blue and he's not even here when we get back? Instead, we get an earful from some balding old snob with a stick up his butt. What's up, Lloyd? Feeling down? I was being told to refuse your assignment a big shock. Ah, no, that's not it. It's just, this place is a lot more different than I had imagined. What? Come again? Hey there, rookies. Sounds like you had one heck of a day. Oh, um, I'm Donovan, Chief Inspector of the 2nd Investigative Division. And I'm Raymond, from the same division. I've heard rumors, but you really do have a kid in your squad. Rude. Nice to meet you, uh, nice to meet you two. I'm Lloyd Banning. My name is Ellie McDowell. Hey, Randy Orlando, nice to meet you. Likewise, welcome to the CPD. I see, so you're his, huh? Chief Inspector? No, it's nothing. Anyway, Sergey likes to come up with some pretty wild ideas, tossing a bunch of rookies into the lion's den to try to score some points with the citizens. What do you mean by that? Oh, you haven't been told yet. Maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. Well, anyway, sorry to say, but you guys got the short end of the stick. Can't imagine how tough your job's gonna end up being. If I were you, I would have refused. I think you could stand to grow a backbone, Raymond. Uh, keep talking like that, and maybe I'll hand you to Sergey too. Come on, Chief Inspector, cut me some slack. Well, I'm sure you guys have a tough road ahead of you, but I hope you'll consider continuing to work with Sergey. Just don't push yourselves, okay? If it comes down to it, I'll be happy to bring all of you into the second division. Thank you, sir. Uh, well then, uh, work hard out there. Oh, and Ellie, was it? I'd love to take you out for dinner sometime. I just discovered this fantastic restaurant and... Hey, jerk, we're leaving. Ouch, I was just trying to be a gentleman. I'm actually surprised that nobody has picked up on Ellie's last name being McDowell. Even when they mentioned McDowell is the mayor of this place at the very beginning. Uh, well, I don't know where all that came from, but they sure had some opinions about our department. Putting aside the talk of us uh, getting the short end of the stick, I do fear this will be more strenuous than I would like. Well, I think it'd be best for us to get the details from the chief himself. Perhaps someone at the receptionist desk knows where we can find him. Yeah, good call. Hello, Lloyd Banning speaking. Oh good, the fox must be done with his, uh, complaining then. Our vice commissioner can be a real pain in the butt, huh? Yeah, that guy's, uh, no, wait a second, where in the world are you? Didn't you tell us to return to headquarters once we were done? Oh yeah, all of you guys' luggage arrived, so I was dealing with the movers. Aren't you guys lucky to have such a nice boss? Luggage? 
Are you at our dormitory? That's right, we can talk more when you get here. Don't keep me waiting. Understood. Where exactly is the dormitory? Oh, well, it's not a dormitory per se. Huh? Actually, it's the CPD's very own special support section annex. Your rooms will be on the second and third floors. Let me save, 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 let me save. You're not gonna let me save. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be late to Taco Tuesday. I knew what I was getting myself into. Rose to get myself into it anyway. Huh, it's that old building. Man, this place has sure seen better days. Next to that brand spanking new department store right over there. Looks like it fell out of the Middle Ages. Uh, for my first impression, I would say that it was built around 30 years ago. Surprise, it has not been demolished yet. Is this really going to be the special support section's main office? Yeah, it seems so. But I told you not to make me wait. Chief Sergey. Get inside, everyone. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions about what you've gotten yourselves into, what this new division of ours even is. And it's about time I filled you all in. Just leave the PC on and cut the stream? <laughs> uh, but... Then that would, that would cause a lot of problems. Wait, so basically we're a division that serves the public by accepting requests from them. Wait, wait, that's what the special support section is? Why don't we just, just call us bracers? Right, that in a nutshell is the special support section. The reason we got this annex was because it was the heart of the city close to the everyday goings-on of the people. Makes sense, doesn't it? Hold on, but it almost seems like we're copying the Bracer Guild. So much so, you could call it plagiarism. <laughs> Seriously. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but the Bracer Guild is hugely pop popular in Crossbell, especially the A-rank Bracer, Arios McLean, also known as the Divine Blade of Wind. He and a bunch of other extremely skilled individuals work out of the guild's crossbell branch. Uh, you're starting to understand what this means for all the big shots at the police department. Well, the police and guild are constantly compared to each other, uh, making our flaws as an organization that much more apparent. And blame for those flaws will end up in the government's lap. So that's what this is all about. Basically, we're here to try and steal some of the guild's popularity in order to cover the government's butt. A bit shameless, is it not? I won't beat around the bush, you guys are right. This is absolutely shameless. However, the police's founding principles are to maintain public order and enforce the law supplied by our government. Serving the community has never been the main priority. For that reason, there's a lot of people within the police who aren't looking too kindly on a blatant bid for popularity like this. Let's see, I've heard handymen, bargain bin bracers, even sideshow monkeys. Basically, people have been talking crap about us since day zero. Well, that's the case. This whole situation is starting to make much more sense. Sheesh. Alright, we're gonna stop saying sheesh. It's already sheesh number two and I'm tired of the sheeshes. Uh, so you're telling us to join a team where we'd, we'll be under fire from everyone. Honestly, this is beyond what I was expecting. Now, now, don't start freaking out just yet. You may already know, but no one's stopping you from refusing this assignment. Oh. If you decide to stay on, expect to see all sorts of odd jobs and requests. That includes monster exterminations like your mission today. Uh, but there will also be minor stuff like tracking down lost items and helping out HQ. Anyone who's not up for that wouldn't be a great fit for this position. I'll give you the night to sleep on it. If you end up refusing, don't worry. You'll be reassigned to another unit. On top of that, there'll be no demerits. Uh, the rest is up to you guys to decide. There's autosave? Ah, that's risky business. No, we're stealing the jobs of the bracers. We are the PR stunt of the police. <laughs> 
what it sounds like. This room looks very familiar. Uh, how in the world did I get here? Imitating the Bracer Guild. I didn't join the Force to be a part of something like that. Guy was assigned to the 1st Division, wasn't he? An elite unit that single-handedly solves major cases, be it criminal or political in nature, not to mention handling internal matters. Our divisions really are worlds apart. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to move around. I was going to be like, yes! I wonder what the others are planning to do. Doesn't seem like any of them attended the police academy, but I'm sure they've got their own reasons for joining the force. Maybe I should talk to them a bit. Aha! Just in time! I keep pressing that button when it's not the right button to press! Alright! This is where I'm going to call it quits for today. It's Taco Tuesday. I need my tacos. I need to get my food. I need to do all kinds of stuff. It's going to be crazy. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific time, to continue with some more Trails from Zero. And, uh, you know, we'll get through this. We out. Peace.